That's fully wired. Just gotta turn the power on, connect the laptop, and ready to go. I even have a monitor. Let me show you. You know, it was just a normal day. I, I was checking my Instagram, checking all the comments, responding like normal. And then uh, I put my phone down, about an hour passes, and then I go back to my phone, open it up, and then, whoa, I got 40 new DMs on Instagram. That's not normal. You guys are all spamming me, telling me, do the Bring the Gear Out Challenge, do the Bring the Gear Out Challenge. And I'm like, what the, what the fuck is this? And then I go, look, Bayarto made this new challenge called Bring the Gear Out. So you gotta bring the gear out, set it up, and he did it in like 13 minutes or something like that, but he didn't cable anything. So I am going to do it a little bit different. I'm gonna do the Bring the Gear Out challenge. We're gonna go down to the garage, we're gonna do it, but I'm gonna wire the whole thing and we're gonna see how fast I can do it with my whole new setup strategy and stuff. So I'll see you down at the garage. Oh yes, I forgot the I forgot the rules. I need to have my mask on. So here's my DJ Life mask. And this is a good time to mention the DJ Life face mask. Now this one right here is not the official one. This is kind of like a homemade one, if you can see. But right now, as of filming this video, they are currently in production. So if you guys want to know when the drop is going to be or notify basically when it's gonna happen, go to shopdjlife.com and just enter in your email address and you'll be notified basically when the drop's gonna happen, what time. Like I said, there's only gonna be 100 of them. Price-wise, they're gonna be selling for $8.99 a piece. Again, you can find them on shopdjlife.com, enter your email address uh, for to be notified when they're gonna be dropping or the drop date will be here. Follow me on Instagram and you'll be up to date on when they're all dropping. But let's get back to the Bring the Gear Out Challenge with the face mask on. All right, so down here in the garage and what I'm gonna be setting up is my turntable booth setup that I planned on using for my 2020 events which have yet to start so looking at my uh, loadout sheet over here speaker wise we're gonna take uh, the SRX tops with the VRX subs we're gonna need our sub poles we will take a gig tote and a cable tote that are in the audio rack and DJ booth we're gonna be using the turntable booth right here and we'll get a facade set up so I'm gonna grab everything in here that I need and I'm gonna kind of wheel it outside here so that way basically it simulates where I have everything loaded into an event see how quick it is to set up everything obviously I'm not gonna put that inside the tote because I don't have two people here to help me carry it. Now for my actual booth here, obviously my Rain 12s and my S9 are actually upstairs set up for live streaming and me practicing DJing. And at all my events, I always have an assistant helping me. So for that reason, I'm just gonna kind of place this already in place instead of putting it into the road case because there, there's no point, especially for this challenge. I'm gonna set it up out there. I'm gonna roll the rest of the stuff there and basically go through and set it up as quick as I can. I'm also gonna cable everything because I kind of want to see how fast it is to set it up. Lighting wise though, I'm not actually going to set up any of the lighting. So overall, I'm simulating a very simple reception setup for audio only. Let's get into it. All right, guys, well, I got everything out here, and I'm kind of shocked at how little there really is. So we got my DJ booth, which normally would be in the big row case. So imagine this is the big row case here. Facade, speakers, two subs, two tops. We have a JBL Eon 1 compact. I'm going to use this as a monitor. And then the audio rack. That's everything. So I got my stopwatch right here. My goal is to be able to do this in less than 20 minutes. Fully wired and ready to go. I'm going to run power into the garage. All right, so here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Fourteen minutes and forty seconds. All right, so starting at the source is my DJ booth. Now, obviously, don't have the players here, so I can't actually play music tonight. But the two Rain 12s, the S9 are there, already pre-wired. All I have to do is hook up my laptop over there, ready to go. I pre-made this booth with all the wires coming out of it. So right here is the left, the right, and the power coming right out of the booth. The facade is here, and it basically blocks the rack and the rack table behind it so i'm going to remove the facade just so i can show you guys the wiring of everything here all right so this triple loom right here with the power and the two audio cables runs down around here and then it splits so the audio inputs come back here to the back of the audio rack and they plug in right here accordingly left and right the right indicated by the red zip tie here the power then plugs in on the front side while i got you on the back side of the audio rack real quick let me show you guys the outputs so here we have our high left and right so this goes to the left side 
side, this goes to the right side, and then we have the low right here, this goes to the left side, this goes to the right side. These are our XLR outputs, and the middle one here goes to my monitor speaker. So right here is the sub and the audio going to that speaker stack. Here is the monitor feed. This is the power cable going to the power over there. And then over here, here is the sub and the top cable going to this side and the power cable going to that side. Now, I didn't worry about cables too much here. Obviously, I would make this a little bit cleaner and obviously I would gaff tape all this down in an actual vent. Now, behind each one of the speaker stacks, I have a Furman power strip here, which then allows me to plug in my sub and plug in my top up there. And this is also nice because if I have totems right here, I then have some more outlets to utilize to power the lights on the totems that'll be beside the speakers or on the inside of the speakers, either or. So that's why I dropped this. And also the sub kind of blocks this, so it's a great spot to put it. So VRX 918 sub, we got the JBL SRX 815P sub pole, same thing over here. Another Furman power strip down here to plug in everything. Now the facade obviously is in the way because I was trying to show you guys everything, but the JBL Eon One Compact is my monitor speaker. I am probably going to be using this as my monitor speaker for all of my events whenever we actually get back to doing events. One, because it's battery powered, so that's one less cable we got to run to it. And two, it's just really small, nice, compact, makes a good monitor speaker. Now on the front side of the audio rack, or the back side I guess, this is where basically everything lies as well as the power. So all of those power cables, the two Furman strips and the one going to the audio rack, they all plug in right here. And then that power comm port you saw on the back comes to right here and I ran an extension cord and plugged it into our power. So right now I can go ahead, I can power everything up. Everything now has power. The DBX drive rack's loading up. I got my wireless mic right here. I can pull out my audio board right here, the Yamaha MG12, and we are all set and ready to go. So that's it. Like I said, all I gotta do is come over here while it's already on. Furman strips on, subs on, JBL SRX 815's on. I come over to my DJ booth. Now imagine my, my turntables and everything are here. I pull my cup holder out and below my cup holder is the power switch to turn on the booth. That'll turn on all of my tables. And lastly, come over here, turn on, well it's already on, turn on the last Furman strip and turn on the SRX A15P and we're ready to go. Alrighty guys, that's pretty much it for this video. That is how quick it is to set up my full entire rig and wire it completely. 14 minutes, 40 seconds. So I guess I gotta finish this off by taking some photos. <laughs> I just started tearing this down. I completely forgot that I didn't film an outro. The amount of weird looks I've been getting has been amazing. I live in an apartment complex, so people are driving by left and right, like someone's literally driving by. Yeah, they're probably looking over here going like, what the f yeah, this dude's gawking too. But anyways, guys, be sure to slap a big like on this video. Also, I just wanted to point out, hit the notification bell. If you guys don't have the notification bell on, what are you doing? You're missing out on all the uploads and the live streams I'm doing. So make sure you have the notification bell on so you know when I post all the new videos. Anyways, guys, um, that's all. Like, comment, comment down below. My name is DJ Rick Webb. Keep the record spinning, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.